man just walked down the corner and he shot anybody he felt like it. It was just horrible. My, and my daughter was only 10 at the time. Joyce Gorecki says she knew instinctively her husband was dead, even before police knocked on her door on December 7th, 1993. I never heard back from my husband. He never called me, so I knew something was wrong. James Gorecki was one of six people killed when Colin Ferguson pulled out a gun and opened fire inside the rush hour train from Penn Station. 19 other passengers injured before other passengers tackled Ferguson and stopped him. Joyce Gorecki then dedicated her life to try to change gun laws. And I will speak out for the rest of my life. Yeah, yeah let's put it down. Tom Cook was also there to help place the wreath at the Maryland Avenue station Wednesday night, ahead of the 30th anniversary. I knew that Dennis and Kevin took this train. Cook's brother-in-law, Dennis, was killed. His sister, Carolyn McCarthy, then became a congresswoman, trying to change things in her husband's name and prevent more mass shootings. When this happened, it was just unthinkable. What do you think has changed? Nothing. And nothing, I don't think anything will change for uh, years yet. And every time there's a shooting, you, you go right back to that night. Joyce Gorecki expressing the same frustration. What's changed? Nothing's changed. The law should have changed. How is that for you to deal with, that you've dedicated your life to this and you're saying that it hasn't changed? Does it I know. It's annoying. When is it going to change? When are we going to make this country safer? Sometimes I hardly even think about it, and other times I'll wake up in the middle of the night and it's like it happened last night.